The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Second chapter, text number 40 through 45. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on December 13th, 1968, in Los Angeles. Birth in Srimad Bhagavatam. Uh, in connection with instruction of Narad Muni to bash this. Uh, and Vaisdev was uh, disciple of Narad Muni. And uh, Vaisdev compiled so many Vedic literatures, uh, Mahabharata, Puranas, Vedanta Sutra, Upanishads, various types of, uh, not types, practically the same Vedas divided into departmental knowledge for understanding of the common people. Uh, just like Mahabharata. Mahabharata is the history of India. Maha means great and Bharat means India. Uh, and you see Mahabharata is the history of two royal families fighting in the battle of Kurukshetra and politics and diplomacy. This is the subject matter of Mahabharata. Of course, there are many nice instructions. So this Mahabharata was especially made for the uh, less intelligent class of men. Tri Shudra Dijavandhuna Traina Sruti Gotara Tri means omen. And Sudra means uh, ordinary um, labor class of men. Sri Sudra and Dijabandhu. Dijabandhu means, Dija means higher class, twice born. Sudra means once born. And Dija means twice born. That means first birth by the father and mother and the second birth by the Vedic knowledge mother and spiritual master father. This is called second birth according to Vedic uh, reformatory procedure. So Dija, Dija Bandhu means a person born in the higher family. Uh, who are by tradition very cultured, but uh, a son born in that family is not cultured. Uh, he is just like Shudra, once born. He has no cultural birth. Uh, so they are called Dijavans. Dijavandhu means born in high family, but has no quality, higher quality. They are called Dijavandhu. So for these classes of men, Mahabharata was uh, composed by Vyasya. In this way, he compiled so many literatures, but he was not happy. So Narad Muni, his spiritual master, advised him to uh, describe the activities of the Lord. That is Srimad Bhagavad. In that connection he says uh, that somewhere or other, if somebody becomes in connection with Krishna consciousness or God consciousness, and acts in that spirit, 
that is never lost. The action of Krishna conscious activities will never be lost. That is the purport of this verse. Uh, just like I am doing very large scale business in my present body. I am earning just like Rockefeller Ford in your country, in our country also, Bizla. There are many big industrialists earning money like anything, holding money. But this money, this acquisition, or educational qualification, suppose in this life you become a great scientist, a great scholar, MA, PhD, DSC, LLD, so many titles, and very good opulence, or very good, beautiful body, uh, so many, material, these are material acquisitions, to uh, get birth in high family, to become highly educated. Highly educated, to become very rich, these are material acquisitions. But Srimad Bhagavad says that all these acquisitions will be finished as soon as the body is finished. The people, they do not know it. They are thinking that whatever I am acquiring in this body, that will go with me or I shall be happy with these acquisitions. That is called illusion, maya. Because they have no knowledge that I am a spirit soul. I am changing this position of different bodies. Bhātāṁ sīdhīnāṇī jathāvyahāya. Just like we change our body, uh, dress. Uh, this knowledge is lacking in the present civilization. They want to make permanent settlement here, but forget that any moment I shall be kicked out of the situation, I shall have to accept another situation. Oh. That is lack of education in the modern civilization. Oh. They are accepting something temporary as permanent settlement. Oh. This is called illusion. So, in this verse, Krishna advises Arjun, my dear Arjun, this Krishna consciousness activity, even if you achieve one person result, what is the result? Bhakti. Bhakti parasanu bhava virakti annatasya. This Krishna consciousness or bhakti, devotional service means to develop attachment for Krishna and in the same proportion develop detachment for material sense gratification. Two things cannot go on. Just like here is a uh, glass containing water. If you want to put milk in this glass, then you have to throw away the milk, uh, water. Uh, if you think that I shall keep half water, half milk, that can be done. But both of them become uh, diluted or polluted. If you want to keep milk, then you have to throw out, throw out the water, and if you want to keep water, then you cannot keep milk. Similarly, uh, bhakti parasanu bhava, this is the test. Uh, if you become Krishna conscious, if you are improving in your spiritual life, proportionately you will 
be detached from materialistic way of life. That is the test. Simply thinking that I am meditating so much, I am making very good advance, is not. You have to test. The test is uh, that uh, your Sri improvement of spiritual life means that you become detached to the materialistic way of life. Bhakti parasanu bhava virakti annatra. The example is, uh, the, this is one example, another example is just like if you are hungry. Uh, actually every man is hungry for spiritual happiness. Therefore, they are not satisfied. They are trying to gratify their senses in so many ways. But still they are not satisfied. Because actually he is hungry, just like this child crying. A mother is offering something, but he is still crying. That means he is asking something which the mother cannot understand. Similarly, the dissatisfaction of the modern world uh, means that actually everyone is hankering after spiritual happiness. But uh, Nobody is offering. Uh, even if it is offered, they cannot understand. They do not take it. This is the position. So, here in this verse, Krishna says that somewhere or other, if you begin uh, your activities in Krishna consciousness, even one person, not ten percent, it will never be destroyed. All other things, whatever you acquire in this present life, with the end of this body, everything is finished. Your education, your degree, your opulence, your skyscraper building, your bank balance, everything will remain where you kept and you have to go, even leaving this body also. You have to go alone and to accept another body. But if you cultivate spiritual consciousness or Krishna consciousness, that will go with you. Uh, and if you have finished in this life, say, ten percent, then next life you begin eleven uh, percent. Uh, the best thing is that why not finish ten percent in this life? Uh, why should we indulge in materialistic way of life, sense gratification? Uh, that we have tried in many lives. This is human form of life. And there are many other lives also. We had been in the water, aquatics, we had been in the vegetable kingdom, we had been animals, we had been worms. So many. This is the highest boon. Labdhya sudhillam amidam bahusam bhavante. After many, many births, millions of births, here is another form of body, human form of body, and especially in the civilized society, in well-to-do society. So just try to utilize it. How to utilize it? So, uh, the consciousness, the present consciousness, polluted consciousness, should be rectified to Krishna consciousness. Satparastena nirmalam. Nirmalam means purify. If you can purify your consciousness in touch with Krishna or God, that is your success. And if you can execute even certain percentage, that is your permanent asset. It will go with you. Next life also, you will get chance. This is also explained in the Bhagavad Gita. So, every sane man, every intelligent man, should take advantage of this Krishna consciousness movement. And whatever percentage he can achieve, 
he should try for it. Those who are on this camp are lessened with the purpose, and their aim is one. O beloved child of the crew, who tells you to those of who are the resolute many things. Men of small knowledge are very much attached to flowery words of the day, which recommend various suited activities for elevation and heavenly plants, the token good birth, power, and so forth. Being desire of the sense gratification and optimum life, they say that there is nothing more than this. Hmm. There. In the Vedas, uh, there are many allurements for elevating one, oneself to a higher standard of life. Just like in this life also, the father says, My dear boss, if you become uh, highly educated, then you will get very nice job, you will get good salary, and you will have nice apartment, a nice uh, wife, children. Just like these are allurements for enticing one in this materialistic way of life. Similarly, there are many allurements in the Vedic literature. Uh, people are also, and uh, say, Allure to execute such things that if you make uh, such and such pious activities, then you get elevated to such and such higher planet, and you get such and such high, high standard of life. Uh, these are explained there. But Krishna says that don't be misled by this allurement. He will explain also later on. Abrahma Bhavana Loka. Just like people are trying to go to the moon planet. They are trying to go to the moon planet by some uh, airplane or Sputnik. Similarly, in the Vedic literature, uh, the uh, travel to moon planet is also stated that if you act in this way, then you get promotion uh, to get your life in the moon planet. There you shall live for ten thousands of years, and you will have uh, so much of beverages, and you will so many promises. But Krishna says that don't be allure. They are fact. They are not false statements. Actually, they are fact that if you act in such and such way, you can enter in higher planetary system and you have high standard of life. But uh, this Bhagavad Gita proposition is that don't try to live within this material world anywhere. Anywhere. Oh. There is Vedic instruction also. Uh, Tamasi ma, Jyoti gama. Don't remain within this darkness. This material world is dark. Uh, therefore there is need of sunlight, need of moonlight. Just like at the, uh, just now, at the night. What is this night? Night means this is the real appearance of this material world. It is dark. And when the sunlight will be visible, we shall think that it is daytime, but actually it is dark. But there is another nature that is also explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Parastasma Subhava Anya, another spiritual nature where there is always illuminate, jyoti. Jyoti means illuminate. So, Vedic uh, injunction is don't stay within this dark material world. Just come to the illuminated world. Jyoti God. The same thing Krishna also advises that don't be allured uh, to stay in any nice planet of this universe. Come out of it. Jadgatyanandivattanti uh, tadhyama paramam. That is my uh, eternal abode or the best abode, 
Where going? He'll never come back again. So, what is that? Mm-hmm. Yes, here is a very important thing. The exact uh, Sanskrit word is Bhogai Sajja Prasattanang Tayapo Hita Chita Sam Dabhasadnita Buddhi Reke Ha Kuru Nanna. Uh, in the beginning, it has been said that you make your determination that in this life I shall execute Krishna consciousness in such a way that after leaving this body, I enter into the spiritual world and go directly to Golak Vrindavan Krishna Lok. Uh, this is called Bhavasadmika Buddhi. Uh, Nishyadmika means determination. Uh, but he says that persons who are attached bhoga, material enjoyment, oisadya, material opulence, bhoga isadya prasakta, those who are too much attached to material enjoyment uh, and material sense gratification, material opulence, taya uh, apurhita chetasam, and uh, those who have become bewildered or mad of courage, tayapurhita chetasam, those admita buddhi, they cannot uh, have such determination. They will fail to have such determination. Therefore, according to Vedic civilization, there is voluntary renunciation. Just like Maharaj Bharat, he was the emperor of the world, and at the age of twenty-four years, he gave up everything. Maharaj Bharat is a very long, long ago he appeared, but uh, Lord Buddha, he was also a uh, princely order, and uh, he was a young man, uh, he also gave up everything, his father's kingdom, everything uh, that you know, because Lord Buddha is known uh, at the present uh, moment. Uh, so this renunciation is recommended. Uh, if we simply remain in material opulence and enjoyment, that will be our disqualification for entering into the kingdom of God. Too much attachment, too much increasing of material civilization means that next life is very much dark. Bhogai Sajya Prasakthana, just like the other day I was explaining, Rajabhutra Siranjiva, oh, the son of royal order, you live forever because you do not know next life is very dark for you. Because you do not cultivate any Krishna consciousness, you have got money and you are enjoying sense enjoyment. And as soon as this body will be finished, no more your control, then you are completely under the control of material nature and you will have to accept a body as you have done in this life, because this life is preparation for the next life. Uh, you have got very Mm. Concrete example, just like uh, President Kennedy, he was a young man, very rich man, and he got the president post uh, with great endeavor, spending so much money. He had his wife and children, but in one moment everything finished. Oh. Everything finished. So, we do not know that we are standing on a tottering platform. So, have a nice arrangement we may make. This will be finished in one moment. That is we are missing. We are simply sticking to a false platform that this will save me, this will save me. No. 
তারপর ভক্তিনাথ ঠাকুর সে দেখ জড়বিদ্যা সব মায়ার বৈভব দিস মেটিরিয়াল অ্যাডভান্সমেন্ট অফ সিভিলাইজেশন ভেরি নাইস ভেরি ডেজলি জাস্ট লাইক হোয়েন ইউ পাস অন দি স্ট্রিট আর রোড অফ ইউর অ্যামেরিকান সিটি ইট লুক সো নাইস সো মেনি লাইট সো মেনি নাইস ইলিমিনেটিং সাইন বোর্ড বাট উই শুড অল ইজ জিভেন দিস নাইস সিচুয়েশন ইজ নট পারমানেন্ট সেটেলমেন্ট এনি মোমেন্ট আই লাভ টু গিভ আপ এভরিথিং তো দেয়ার ফর ইফ ওয়ান বিকামস অ্যাটাচ টু দিস ফল প্ল্যাটফর্ম ইলিমিনেটিং সো কল ইলিমিনেটিং ফল প্ল্যাটফর্ম then his determination to go back to godhead will not be very much intent uh, that is being explained the bhogai sadya prasatta what is the english translation yeah. yes minds of those who are too much attached to the sense in jaman and yes they cannot that for we have to voluntarily accept a uh, simple life simple life that's like we are sitting here on the floor according to your mac american standard of life this is not good that for no i am mean a very hmm, rich class or bad or high class I mean, they do not come to this because we have no sitting place but actually what is the difference if you sit down on the floor or if you sit on a very nice comfortable couch after all you are sitting yeah. but to secure a, a very nice couch or you have to waste your time so much your valuable time which you could use for cultivating krishna consciousness you will have to waste for securing a comfortable seat of course this is called material civilization that's all uh, you are extending the comforts of life but you do not know that this life is temporary how long you shall live in this camp your real thing is spirit soul which is eternal that is also the instruction of lord is that after gaining everything if you lose your own soul what is the gain the bhogai sadya prasthana therefore this is another kind of disqualification for advancing in spiritual consciousness if one becomes too much attached to this material comforts of life uh therefore uh, according to vedic civilization a boy is trained to become brahmachari 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 means a uh, complete celibate no sex life no amusement uh, because just to train him not to be attracted by this material sense enjoyment then he will be able to grasp what is spiritual life therefore restriction uh, but he from the very childhood in the school college the boys and girls are allowed to enjoy sex life then it is very difficult to understand or to enter into spiritual life bhogai sadya prasattana and if we teach our children simply for sense enjoyment how they can be spiritually advanced and the result will be uh, confusion therefore in your country the hippies are there confusion they have been brought up in uh, material sense enjoyment very nicely but still there is confusion frustration because he is anchoring after something better so that is spiritual happiness 
That is Krishna consciousness. So one has to understand this point. And voluntarily he has to accept this Krishna consciousness movement and then he'll find happiness. Oh, it is sure. Those who have taken to it, just ask them, just argue with them and see actually this is happiness. Yes. So the, the mind with fixed mind, the very dictionary, the neural truth says, when the mind is fixed on the thing itself, this is called the mind. The mind is never possible for persons interested in material sense of one. Nor for those who are bewildered by it. Mm, samadhi, the yoga process, is to achieve this stage of samadhi. That means the mind being fixed up on the Supreme. But if our mind is, mind, the nature of mind is always agitated. And if we artificially uh, give impetus to the mind to be more agitated, then where is the question of Saman? There is no question of Saman. Uh, they will never be able to concentrate the mind. Uh, that is not possible. So, in this age, no process will be successful. Simply this process, this chanting Hare Krishna, anyone, it doesn't matter in whatever condition he is, as soon as he will hear Hare Krishna, he will immediately join. His mind will be attracted immediately. Simplest process, vibration. Uh, there is no question of uh, trying to practice some breathing exercise, some sitting posture. Uh, at, no, no, because these things are not possible in this age. Simply we invite you to come here and simply join uh, this chanting, Hare Krishna, and very quickly you'll be spiritually at home. This is a fact. Otherwise there is no second uh, alternative. The body is never possible for persons interested in material sense of illness. Mm-hmm. Therefore, those who are bewildered by such temporary things, they are more or less condemned by the process of material action. Mm-hmm. Verse 45. The latest many deal with the subject of the three modes of material nation. Why is what these modes are watching them? Yes. Trigunna Bhisyavedan is Trigunna Bhavarjana. The exact verse is like that the whole material world is working under three modes of material nature. The modes of goodness, modes of passion, and modes of ignorance. Those who are acting in the modes of goodness, they are being elevated to a higher standard of life. Those who are uh, acting in the modes of passion, they will remain in the same position as they are now, and who are acting in the most of ignorance, darkness, without any knowledge, they are being degraded in lower grades of life. This is material world. But Krishna is advising Arjuna that either goodness or passion or ignorance, after all, they are activities of this material world. You have to come above, transcend this position uh, of goodness also. Uh, so, uh, goodness is not a qualification for spiritual advancement, but it is helping. Uh, if a man is very good man, uh, then it is helping to spiritual life, but that is not the cause. Here, a Krishna consciousness movement, this chanting, is directly offering spiritual life. Uh-huh. Even if one is not in goodness, even if one is in the darkest part of uh, the quality of ignorance, still he can be immediately elevated to the spiritual platform, which is uh, recommended by Krishna that you have come to the platform above the modes of goodness. So this Krishna consciousness movement is directly offering the spiritual platform, which is above the mode of goodness. 
the quality of goodness will automatically be there. Any person who is in Krishna consciousness, his uh, quality of goodness, namely, he does not indulge in illicit sex life, he does not smoke even or take tea or coffee even, uh, he does not eat any uh, forbidden food stuff, uh, neither he takes part in any unnecessary gambling. So, good character is immediately there. That is the test. How one is spiritually advanced will be tested how he has acquired all the good quality. Not that a yogi is talking with a cigarette in hand. Uh, there is a picture. <laughs> Back to God as somebody was talking with a representative. Uh, he, he cannot give up smoking even for a moment. Chain smoker. And claiming I am God, I am uh, spiritually advanced, <laughs> and so many nonsense. <laughs> he is being kicked up by material energy in so many ways, and still he is claiming, oh, everyone is God, I am God. God is so cheap. And they are satisfied, oh, I am God, that's all. So this bluffing, these cheating things are going on. And because we are unable to cheat and bluff, nobody cooperates with us. They want to be cheated and bluffed. That is the business. God. Lord, because he is more to us, he is great to get out of the He is free from all duality, from all anxiety, to gain his safety, and be established in himself. To establish yourself. Yourself means you are part and parcel of the Supreme. So, just like my hand, Somewhere or other, if my hand becomes paralyzed, it is not working. Uh, and as soon as it is established with this body, then it will work. Oh, the nerves and veins will uh, at once work. Similarly, established in self, because I am part and parcel of the Supreme Self, so my establishment with the Supreme Self means I will be active for Krishna. This is simple plug. Uh, as soon as I am active in Krishna consciousness, that means I am established in this world. The same example. Uh, this finger, uh, when it is diseased, I, I, just like I am moving my finger very nicely, because it is established with the whole body. But when it is detached or some other disease, oh, I am feeling pain, I am not feeling. That is disease condition. So any person, any living entity, who is not engaged in Krishna consciousness activities, is detached, so one has to re-establish. That is Krishna consciousness. That is also explained in Srimad Bhagavatam. Mukti Hitya annatha rupam sarupena avasthit. Mukti means liberation. What is the liberation? Liberation means, Bhagavat explains, hitva annatha rupam. Annatha rupam means a, a different identification. When one gives up the different identification, and is established in his own real identity. That is called mukti. Oh. So now our identification is that I am matter. Therefore, I am this body. Therefore, I, am the, I belong to this country. Therefore, I am American. Therefore, I am this, I am that, I am that. This is our disease condition. So, mukti means one has to be released from this uh, wrong identity. <coughs> and 
After giving up wrong identification, what is my real identification? Oh, I am Aham Brahmasu. I am the part and parcel of the Supreme. That so he anyone is re-established uh, in his original uh, constitutional position as part and parcel of the Supreme. And when he gazes his energy in that way, he is liberated. This is the definition of uh, liberation. Oh. So this also advice here. Uh. No, the forty-five. The Vedas may be deal with the subject of the three modes of material nature. Rise above these modes of worship. Be transcendent to all of them. Be free from all the maladies of the war and the gain of change. Yes, that as soon as we are, this world is a duality. Duality means uh, you cannot understand one thing without understanding the other. Just like light. Uh, you have no concession of light without the concession of darkness. Uh, this is called duality. Good. Uh, it, unless you have uh, experienced bad, you cannot understand good. Uh, father, unless there is a son, there is no meaning of father. Husband, unless there is a wife, there is no meaning of husband. This is called duality. Uh, this world is duality. So we have to rise above this dual world and enter into the absolute world. Then there will be happiness. That's all. Thank you. Any question? That is Krishna consciousness? Yes, that I just now explained. That is liberation. I am identified just now with this uh, matter and this body. I belong to this country. I belong to this world. I, this is uh, illusion. And as soon as I can understand that I belong to none of these, I belong to Krishna, that is enlightenment. Simply changing the understanding. It is not very difficult. But it is difficult one who cannot understand. That is, that is another thing. Oh. <clears throat> but if one can understand this fact, then he is immediately enlightened. Oh. Just like this light, it is now enlightened. There is uh, illumination. And as soon as the switch is up, uh, immediately dark. Hmm? And switch is on, immediately light. So it is not very difficult to understand. What is enlightenment? Enlightenment means, Ahang Brahmas, I do not belong to this material world. I belong to the Supreme Spirit. That conviction makes you enlightenment. So anyone who has got this conviction, he is enlightened. This is not very difficult. The initiation means beginning. The very word initiation means if you are engaged in some war, just in the beginning. That is called initiation. Initiation is not the end. Initiation means you agree to enter into the world of enlightenment. And if you make progress, then more you make progress, more you become enlightened. Initiation means is the beginning. This is the dictionary word meaning. Uh, what is that meaning? Uh, agree, initiation. Is that? So, begin. If you uh, begin, agree to execute Krishna consciousness, that is called initiation. Uh, how many, how many other 
of their own planet who have made much spiritual progress that you have. <coughs> many? Oh, but not many. Uh, but there are many also. Oh, but there is no statistics in, in my position. Uh, but uh, the formula is that what is the use of taking statistics, how many they are? Why don't you become one of them? Why you are wasting time in that way? These are not very intellectual questions. You just try to become in enlightened. What is the use of? Who is enlightened or not? You try to be enlightened. That's all. You are going somewhere, purchasing the plane ticket. Do you ask how many tickets you have sold? Huh? What is the use of? You just purchase your ticket and get on the airplane and go. Don't waste your valuable time in that way. If you are serious, just purchase ticket and get on the airplane and pass. That's all. All right, chant, please. 